All right. Hello. What's up? So, today, it's 2020. It's, in fact, January 7th, 2020. So, what's today's video going to be? This week's video. It's going to be a tour of my recording studio. Give you a little 360 of it. There's my bed, because... As, as a teen guy, obviously, if you live in a small house and have a and have a decent sized family like I do, have a reasonable sized family, the only room any man of my age gets a private is his own bedroom. So it's the only place you can get isolation, have your own control room without being interrupted by other people to do recordings. So yeah, that's kind of junky, but anyway, so. Let's get started. So, when you walk in the door, if you look over here, you'll see guitars. Over here, you'll see the desk where the magic happens, which we'll get to. And you'll see my my bed over here, first off. Here's my bed. Not much to see. I sleep here at night. And I have kind of some some decor up, up and around the room. But... So, not much to say there. Next up, chair. Yes, it's got one armrest. Take the other one off because the armrest, you can't lift them up. And it's not fun to play guitar in a chair that has two armrests. It's pretty awkward. So, that's that. That's why I've only got one armrest. So, if we move over here a little, you see we've got a couple guitars. So... I will show you the guitars in my collection, but I won't go into too much detail of them. But, but if you guys have any questions about any of the gear that I show you and would like to see more details than I give in this video, be sure to let me know and I'll do a video of that piece of gear if you'd like to see that. So, I guess the first guitar we'll see is also my newest guitar. This was a, a Tele, obviously. It's a Tele style. But it was one of those... DIY kits. I got one for Christmas. Dad got me one because I've been wanting to build guitars, so he got me this to build. It was a cheaper kit, like eighty dollars, but but it's pretty simple to build. Plug in, sounds good. In fact, I'll show you some of the pedals on. I'll pluck it a little. See, it sounds sounds okay, but locked to upgrade pickups one day and tuners, but. That's that. Not bad for, for something you spend 80 bucks on. Next up. One's on the rack. I'll, I probably won't take them off, but I will point them out. But if you would like to see, again, if you want to see an up-close video of them, please be sure to let me know and I will we'll try to make that happen. Next up, it's 2009 <clears throat> Fender Highway 1 American Stratocaster. A humbucker and a bridge, tobacco sunburst. It's a great guitar. I love it. It's probably my number one guitar. And then behind it, it's probably my second favorite electric. It's my Gretsch 2655T. With T obviously means tremolo or Bigsby. It's a pretty nice guitar. Only thing that I've done to it is put silver knobs on it instead of the black ones. It's got a Bigsby. But, I, like I said, I'm, I'm not taking the time to take them out today. But if you have any questions about them, leave, leave them in the comments and I'll make a video about them. Just say, I would like to see a video on this guitar and I will do that for you guys. Next up is my bass. I play bass on a pretty regular basis, but it's nothing special. It's just a little off brand like J Terser thing. It's the JTB 1004 Active. It's an active bass. As you can see, I put tape here because trying to memorize notes on bass. It's just a four string. The only thing I put on it is strap locks, and I put different knobs on it. In fact, the ones off of this Gretsch I put on it, the knobs off of this bass I put on my Gretsch, so it's just switch for knobs. And it's active. There's a cover on the back. You guys can't see that, but there's a full battery. Next up is an Epiphone SG G400 Pro. Only thing done to it was I put a new nut on it. A Graph Tech Tusk nut, which is very nice, and strap locks. I'll put strap locks on all my guitars. 
I don't know if you can see, but it's like this, it's a silver burst, but you guys can't see it that good, but I'll probably have a video of it on the channel. Next up is a, this one's a 2013 actually, and I believe this one is like a 2003 or 4 base, something like that, 2, 3, so, anyway, early 2000s. The McGretch is a 2016, I forgot to mention. The Epiphone's a 2013, so, just letting you guys know that. So, next up, so. 2011. Yeah, 2011. Me Mexican Standard Strat. Cap and Drop D. So, if you can hear that. But, anyway, it's Cap and Drop D. Standard. Nothing has been done to it at all. Oh, and on my Strat, I took springs out and I put a Lego in there. So, it's be to make it hard to tell because I don't use a tremolo that much. This one hasn't had the tremolo touched on it. Just hadn't done it. Next up is my first guitar I ever owned, which, what can I say about it? It's a great guitar, but I've done a lot of modifications to it over the years. No, over the past year, too. It's a 1984, I believe, Washburn Bantam, part of our Billy T series I did back in the 80s. It's a nice little guitar. Red. As you can see, it, ha it was originally set up like just a standard strap, free pickups, five-way switch, free knobs. But wiring started giving some issues, so I just put pickup volume out. Very simple wiring. Next up is a Washburn Acoustic from, I don't know when, probably early 2000s. It's a nice little acoustic. I mean, not the best in the world, but gets the job done. Next up. So the Breed Love with the Koa on it. This one's a 2017. Probably, in my opinion, the best sounding acoustic guitar you'll ever get. Next up is the laptop. Just a Dell laptop with Windows 10, I believe, on it. Focusrite interface. It does a pretty good job. I like it. It's all, really all I need. Keyboard. Logitech mouse and keyboard. Black Star Fly 3. I use this for my amp and monitor because I don't need a big amp, but I do have some more speakers in it. A salt lamp, lamp, meet computer monitor, it's a gateway, and if you're wondering about what software I'm running, I'm running Pro Tools first, so that's that. A central oil diffuser, very important, it's not running right now, but I like to have it. And I have these Christmas lights hung up, which that's not good, it's touching my pillow, it gets very hot, that's not good at all. Glad I saw that. Kind of give it a cool looking light. It's kind of cool when it's dark out, but but I don't like to close my blinds because I kind of like the look of a natural light shining in. I kind of like looking out and seeing the sun shining. It's nice. So, some picks. Pure. Random collection of acrylic stuff. My favorite. Been hooked on these lately. The gravity picks. Been really liking them. And I've got a Jadario finger pick. And so, and I dropped it. So I've got some writing utensils here, and here's some more random guitar picks. Clock. So I know what time it is. And that's about it for over here, and I can show you. This is where I stick microphones whenever I do it. See, it's, if you notice, it's a lot quieter in here compared to out here. The camera picks that up. Less reverb, so stick a microphone in here. Kind of use it for isolation room slash closet, and it is kind of a junk room of a room. So, yeah, it works. So it's pretty much all there is to show. Oh, another thing, very very important, very important. To show is pedal board. Not a too complicated of a setup. I've got this little mint tin that I got a while back. Actually, three or four years ago, but I don't want to put guitar picks in it when I take it out to flock it when I play at church and stuff. Very handy. First thing, got a Mythocestus boost pedal. It's very good. Only mod I did was I put a smaller knob on top because a lot of times when I'll hit the button with a bigger knob if I go in there with like a big shoe or something to hit the button I would I would accidentally hit the knob so I put a smaller knob on it as you can hear 
when I turn it. The next thing up, TS9 to the Screamer. Most important pedal on the board. So that's my settings for, for almost every song I play with a Tube Screamer. And I've got a, and for cables, I've got a mono price cable going from a boost to the Tube Screamer, and then from the Tube Screamer to the MXR Carbon Copy. I've got a Fender Custom Shop cable, and, and from a Carbon Copy to the HX Stop. It's just a carbon copy delay. Nothing much to say about it other than it. It's pretty cool. And it's just simple um, thin cables like that. And next up is the HX Stomp. What I say about this guy? It's probably the most important part of his pedal board. It's a pedal I built this board around. All I say about that is awesome. And. That goes into this Behringer DI box, so all I need to do when I get to, to a gig or something is they have to have, and I need just an XLR cable coming from a soundboard just to plug into that. That's all, and I'm all set up. I don't have any fancy amps or anything. So, that's that. So, alright, so there is one more room to show you in the studio. Oh, oh, I've got something very important. I need more light I can turn this on on my ceiling fan, but this is very important. Because I don't want to be in here all a long day working, sweat, sweating my face off. So, very important to have a ceiling fan to keep a cool environment. So, alright, I'm going to head on over to the next room and I'll meet you all there. Here we are on the other end of the house. With the drums. The drums or a pork pie little squealer. Obviously pork pie because... I love pork pie, my favorite brand of drums. So, hardware, I've got an SP, regular cymbal stand, Gibraltar um, snare stand for the rack tom, Gibraltar boom stand for the ride, and Zildjian LA cymbals, obviously, because I use them with my electric set, and I don't have the money to get new cymbals yet, but maybe one of these days. And a Mapex snare stand for my... Snare, which is a pork pie little squeal, 7x13 vintage snare drum. Very, very good snare drum. Love it. And obviously, DW2000 kick drum. One of the best. And actually, there's DW legs on this Tom too, so it's kind of cool. And Yamaha, which was with my electric set, it's the high hat pedal. And Music Stand, which I use as a table. Um, and and there's a piano, but this room is kind of messy because it's, it's the desk over there. There's my mom's desk over there where she does, fills out bills and gets school assignments together because I'm homeschooled, which is awesome. And my sister's craft area over there. So this room is combined. And a couple speakers over here. This is one I sold to my sister. The PV Viper 15 watt. PVKV2, which I use for, for for listening to music when I play drums. So, well, I think that's about it for studio stuff as far as it goes. But well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Love you guys. Peace out.